There's still a lot of confusion when it comes to the section that came off of the airplane. King 5's aviation reporter Kristen Goodwill is with us now. And Kristen, this is being described as a door, but that's not actually what it looks like from the passenger perspective. That's exactly right, Joyce. A passenger walking onto a plane would not ever know that they were sitting next to a door plug. And unlike sitting in an exit row, this is not knowledge that's given out. Simply, if you're walking to your seat and happen to be in this row, it will look like your average panel with a window, but from the outside, there is this outline of a door. Which most of us who fly don't even actually know, so that's right. incredible information. Is there actually a door there that can be used in an emergency? I think that's the biggest question here, and for Alaska Airlines purpose, no, there's not. So for say, if there is an emergency, no one will be able to open that door. It is completely plugged. These door plugs are used because of budget airlines. So for mm -hmm. instance, when you pack more people into an airplane, they have to have another door that's required. And so Boeing will just plug the door instead of adding one. So there, there's no actual door in there other than the seal. It should be sealed. Have experts shared any more details about the damage that they're looking at specifically to understand how this happened? Yes, so when you look at the pictures, it doesn't look like there's any structural damage. It looks like it's only the door plug that unsealed and then flew out. So experts tell me the main question the NTSB is trying to answer is whether the door failed because of a structural issue within the door or because it was not latched correctly. And has anything like this ever happened before? That is the thing. This is unprecedented. Wow. As I'm sure we all remember, there are times when we have people mid-flight who are trying to open the emergency exit, but never a situation like this where this type of thing happens mid-air with really no reason to it, and that's exactly what the NTSB is looking at. It's also important to note that they're moving really quickly mm -hmm. here. So mm -hmm. Alaska Airlines voluntarily within hours grounded their fleet. The FAA came out within 24 hours saying this needs to be grounded, grounded all of the MAX 9s in the United States. Boeing as well is working with the NTSB and the NTSB has already given us two updates. So this is something they are working together and trying to get this figured out. And of course the impact for passengers has been widespread, but right. again, it does point to the importance of them figuring this out ASAP. Exactly. Thanks.